What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third, hence the name. And we're breaking down rap music and rap videos. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe should you feel free and inclined to do so. If this is not your first time here, appreciate y'all being here from the get go. We're like literally 70 like subscribers away from 5,000. I ran across Lil Dicky's freestyle from like two years ago on Tim Westwood. It made me miss Lil Dicky. His album has just been postponed and postponed and postponed, but I decided I want to react to some Lil Dicky. So that's what we about to do. We about to break down this Tim Westwood freestyle because it's one of the best I've ever heard. And there's a lot of debate when it comes to freestyling, what's technically considered quote unquote freestyling. And in my personal opinion, there's two different kinds and I keep them separated for a reason. There's literally freestyling off the top of the dome. And then there's freestyling, which is literally free of style, which is written lyrics, which is just trying to be as hot as fucking possible. It's not conceptual. It's not anything. It's just random bars put together just to be fire. And that's what we're about to listen to today. So let's just go ahead and jump right onto this bitch. We're actually going to have a video right here. Now, if you're sleeping on Lil Dicky, get the fucking Folgers, brew up some coffee, get that shit out of your eyes, and wait the fuck up. Cause Lil Dicky goes hard as fuck. Now for those of you that don't know, Tim Westwood is a British DJ on the radio and he's well respected in the hip hop community. One of Eminem's best freestyles ever was on Tim Westwood TV. He's basically Sway Calloway and Sway's universe of the Britain side. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Yeah y'all. Yo, it's Tim Westwood TV, upper capital extra, going in with my man Lil Dicky. Finally in Europe. But King Bop. <laughs> LD aka Bop Bop. He's obviously making fun of the British accent and the way a lot of British rappers say ting bop and that ting. Look at the way this man's dressed. You gotta love Lil Dicky's swag and his character and who he is because he doesn't give a fuck. He's just who he is on the mic. There's no persona that he's trying to keep up and that's why people love him because he's not trying to be something that he's not. He's just being Lil Dicky. He's always changing up the AKA. That's kind of like taking a jab at rappers who always call themselves something AKA something else. Ding bop. I can do what I want. When I rap. Okay, that's enough. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm popping out in Europe. Ooh. Oh, they slip and gotta wipe the floor. I'm Ooh. the type of dude that never liked the corn. I give no fucks. I'm farting at the urinal. Mama used to... I don't give no fucks. I'm farting at the urinal. I literally just did this the other day. I didn't fart, but someone was next to me at the urinal and I did give a fuck. So I was like, when you piss, like that whole portion of your body relaxes. So farts slip out sometimes. So he's saying, I don't even give a fuck. I just let that shit fly. Where here I am fucking, oh, is this motherfucker gonna judge me for just letting one rip right now? And he said, oh my God, I'm popping out in Europe, which literally he's in Europe right now. Oh, they slipping. Catch them slipping. I gotta wipe the floor up. Mama used to call me Davy Wavy. 20 years later, Davy Wavy. Yo, Russell Westbrook, the guard changer, still push the same car, baby. My mama used to call me David Wavy. 20 years later, David fucking Wavy. He's on that fucking wave right now. Russell Westbrook, the guard changing. Because we're out in the UK, the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. This fucking is already sick. Still push the same car, baby. Mm. All whip stilly on the map, new bitches in the back. They've been fucking with the kid for a minute. Woo. Oh my, my, got him looking like they about to go and let a motherfucker in a river like a ticket. I be going to bed like this. I don't even got to go for- They looking like they about to let the kid go in and rip it. Like rip the fucking mic like a ticket. Here you go, sir. Have a great day. Rip the mic, rip the ticket. Y'all been sleeping. In June, this freestyle will be three years old. I wonder how many of y'all have never heard this. Huh, what? Oh, oh, little Dicky, who? Yeah, wake the fuck up. The motherfucker in a ribbon like a ticket. I be going to bed like this. Mm. I don't even gotta go and pretend I'm this. Ooh. I don't even gotta trip. Still in that London apartment like, hey, my girl the luxury got Parkinson's, hey. <laughs> I got her moving and shaking like, hey. I'm coming first when I let her like, hey. Turning up everywhere, Johnny Manziel. I got somebody else checking my mail. Hold, some <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Remember what I said at the beginning? I don't even gotta go and pretend I'm this. Cause he's just fucking who he is. He's just doing his goddamn thing. This shirt is fire though. I'd rock the fuck out of that shirt. Still in that London apartment. Shout outs to London, cause we're in London during this fucking freestyle. My girl looked like she got Parkinson's A. Shaking her ass all over the place. Parkinson's, fucking shaking, fire. I'm coming first and I let her like A. Let her, let her. A, the letter A comes first in the alphabet. Letter coming first like A. That's a bar. 
turning up everywhere like Johnny Manziel. For all the people who are not from the United States, Johnny Manziel was like a phenom football player. And he would literally just turn up everywhere. He's with Drake. He's with fucking rappers. He's at parties. It's like, how? Are there two Johnny Manziels to be in two places at once? Because that's kind of how it seems. But anyway, he fucking fell the fuck off. Got somebody else checking my mail. Host information, I'm feeling like Bay. I just don't see how <laughs> someone could debate. They don't even like to post me on Fader. Fuck it, I'm what they all not. Labels, they know what they call like. Hold up. I got them all in formation like Bay. Beyonce. The song Formation, I got them all in formation like Bay. I don't know how someone could even debate. How can you even debate and say that I'm not this fucking good? Do you hear this shit that I'm spitting on the mic? Do you fucking hear this? You try to debate, but labels know what the fuck I got because they call a lot. I got OGs in my call lot. I can name names. Just know I've been great to the greatest, but fuck it, it's your block. I'm mm. at the greatest on World Star. No fucking me, that's a girl car. Fitty just hit me like, damn, homie. Go Ooh. by the video, I'm saying, still shit a landslide. How did 50 just hit me like, damn, homie, you're going in. But that's a bar because 50 Cent has the fucking song, Wangster, damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. The fuck happened to you? I got the sickest vendetta. When it come to the cheddar, she gonna play with my pockets and they gonna meet my Beretta. I don't know if that's how it goes because I fucking forgot the song because it's been a minute since I heard it. But he does say, damn, homie. 50 call me like, damn, homie. He says, I got OGs in my call logs. I'm not gonna name names. Go ahead, it's your blog. One thing to know about Lil Dicky, all of the greatest fuck with him. He got Snoop Dogg on Professional Rapper on his debut album. The OG of the OG. And he knows that he's fucking going in because he says, I bet they love this on Worldstar. Still shit on landslide. How does shit be holding up with the hand side? How does shit be blowing up, nigga, pants side? Who shit break ground as a landslide? Got his truck put with the hand die. You don't see the letter down like a tan side. And I drop a video, ton of impressions. I look around, I see none but impressions. Not of me, Tim. Just of each other. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm be blowing up Nicki pants size. Nicki Minaj blowing up her pants size. He's blowing up like her fucking pants size. That's a bar. And then he says, could this shit break ground? That's a landslide. First off, a landslide win is like when you have it by a fucking mile. So he's saying he's winning in the game, but also could this shit break ground? Could it be like a new innovation of type of rap that he's doing it original, like a landslide, which is literally like the ground breaking and sliding down a hill. That's a what? I drop a video, ton of impressions. Like impressions, like where people see it, where people scroll past it. Every time you scroll past somebody's tweet on Twitter, if you click on it and interact, that's a deeper impression. Then he flips it and says, I look around, see nothing but impressions. Not of me, Tim, of themselves. And this was back in 2016, before SoundCloud rap even popped off in the way that it's fucking popping off right now, where everybody sounds the same. Not of me, Tim, just of each other. <laughs> yeah. I like the way his attitude changes from like Lil Dicky to David Bird. Like he fucking going in and then he's like, not of me, Tim. Tim, 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 Tim. It's me, baby. I know. It's me, baby. You think I'm gonna be my wife in London? I hope so. She could be here, no? Yeah, wait. No? <laughs> oh. Oh, they were sleeping, but now they awake. Ooh. Is he a Drizzy or Louis C.K.? If he was both of them bitches, with both of them businesses, shit would be crickety cray. Is he a Drizzy or Louis C.K.? Man, how fucking dope would that be? And he's saying he is both. His raps is fucking funny. His raps go in. He's talking about like if people were brainstorming, wouldn't that be dope? But he actually is what they're brainstorming about. Wish after wish like I'm blowing this cake. Mm. Bitch after bitch they've been hollering my name. Mm. Wind in my wood like a newborn koala. Cool. Keep on my shit when I twist like a walla. Okay, now the- Bitch after bitch they cling to my wood like a newborn koala. Clean to my wood like a newborn koala who live in the trees. And then he says cap on my shit when I twist like old walla. Cap on my shit which is like him literally wearing condoms when he's fucking. Cause he's a spokesperson for Trojan condoms. But cap on my shit when I twist like old walla, like the fucking juice. I put the cap on the shit and I twist. Fuck. Okay, now they're trying to get involved with it. No girl yet, I gotta see them all first. Mm. No chain, I've been trying to keep it all business. Lay it down like manure and the shit work. Woo. Drinking my... No, girl, I gotta see him all first. Married in our 20s, dog, where the fun in that? My city love me like a college running back. I lay this shit down, like manure. I lay this shit down on the tracks. 
I lay the shit down like you lay down manure and the shit works. Manure is made out of fucking cow shit. Drinking my water, I pick up a quarter. You know that the money gets saved. Hey, whoa, why are you recording? Reporters recording the shit that I say. Hey. You hear that wordplay? Pick up a quarter, you know the money gets saved. Save that money. His fucking lead off single track off of his debut album. And why are you even recording? Because reporters are recording the shit that I say. Hey, I don't even got it downgraded. I ain't loving what I found lately. Mm. People look at me prayer hoping. People look at you periscoping. Ooh. I might have to be a tastemaker. This ain't Iggy, but I date Lakers. I go out with them sometimes. <laughs> Cut the... <laughs> They say Iggy, but I date Lakers, and he just means that he goes out with them and parties with them. People look at me prayer hoping. They're hoping that I'm the one. They're hoping that I'm the savior. People look at you periscoping. Periscope was an app that was owned, I think, by Twitter. It's kind of like just live video feed. I go out with them sometimes. Cool. Cut the losses. Cut the bosses. Independent. Fuck the office. Woo! At the wing stop. Bunch of sauces. Shout to Rick Ross. Huh, Boston. I ain't Pete. Shout to Rick Ross, huh, Boston. And Rick Ross is like a franchise owner of Hello Wing Stops. Shout to Rick Ross, huh, Boston. I ain't peak yet, I don't pee jet. Fly coach, Jay Rice shit. They send me <laughs> Nikes, send me Reeboks. Got a new box. I ain't peak yet, but I've been skim milk. Chugging with a bitch, hot as asphalt. Bitch, wonder why I'm coming quick. It's your asphalt. Say what you want, I'll be saying. <laughs> I be skim milk chugging with a bitch as hot as asphalt. Asphalt is laid hot, like it's laid down and then it cools and it becomes asphalt. But it's laid down hot as fuck where it's steaming and tar. Bitch, ask why I'm coming quick. Bitch, it's your asphalt. 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 This man is a fucking punchline genius. Fam. Say what you want, I be saying shit later. You watching movies and wish you could date her. Woo. My life a movie, I think I'm like data. I'd hit her on Twitter, but I'm out of data. I always run out of data. Is it data or data? I hope it's data for the sake of the rhyme. I <laughs> Westwood don't even know what the fuck I to say. I, I do a lot of social media. You wish you could date her. My life's a movie. I'd hit her on Twitter, but I run out of data. Lil Dicky's just bars. That's all there is to it. I guess we just gotta be patient for the new album. If you have heard his album and you're waiting like me on a new album, fucking download the Brains album. Cause it's basically Lil Dicky, but more brain in there. Which is okay with me, cause brain is fire. But there's very few people that have heard freestyle that go in like this with the punchlines and with the fucking bars. Definitely with the humor. No one's got the humoristic side like he does. Stop sleeping on Lil Dicky. Go watch my other Lil Dicky video if you haven't. I'll link it right here somewhere. But yeah, man, the dude's got bars for days. And on top of that, it's humoristic bars, and they're smart, and a lot of his songs, they have a lot of fucking meaning to them. And a lot of songs, there's a lot of depth, and there's a lot of conceptual thinking that goes into the tracks. Especially songs that are 10 minutes long, they get you hooked. Like Pillow Talking, when I heard that for the first time, I might do a Pillow Talking video. It'll be long, but that song is probably one of the best songs and music video combinations I've ever fucking seen. But appreciate y'all guys being here. This is a throwback. This is an old video. This is an old freestyle. I definitely got to get on more new freestyles for sure. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. A lot of editing, a lot of fucking thought goes into these videos to try and entertain y'all into a level that is not your traditional just reaction channel level just looking at it and fucking reacting it's actual breakdown of these videos and breakdown of these lyrics if you like this video like it share it around put it on twitter put it on facebook love y'all guys appreciate y'all being here once again and i'll see y'all in the next one peace